What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, hump day. Two more days, y'all. Two more days. Anyways, today's topic, curb them fears. Let's talk about it. So as always, I wanna go ahead and say thank you for your continued support. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for your likes, thank you for your shares and just being on here with me daily. Um, I didn't do the fly into the chair thing because my legs are hurt and they're on fire. The first week back in the gym, you, you know that's brutal. You know your body is screaming, it's like ah, everywhere. Screaming from different parts of your body you didn't even know would be able to scream. Um, you have to forgive, Forgive the dog in the background. I can't do nothing about that. So I'm hoping that he doesn't bark as much throughout this video. Um, but like I said, I'm hurting. Uh, I'm in my little house shoes and I'm more relaxed today. So I just come on here just to talk to you. Um, so as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about fear. Curb them fears. Before we talk about that, I want to I want to lean into why I chose that topic. Um, I was writing on a different topic for for today, thinking you know what I was going to come on here and talk about, and um, I put up this post. You know, we were just talking about Hump Day and how Hump Day should be every day. Hump Day should not be Wednesday. It should be a Hump Day every day and just give it everything you've got. It wasn't my best of work, so I, I just put it out there, just real quick, boom, 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 like I usually do. Um, and someone sent me a message. And I'm reading this message, he's like, hey man, those words are inspiring. We should get, uh, link together and put some audio to the back and read what you put. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he continued and say to me, he's like, you know what, what I like about you is you don't care about what anybody thinks. You just put what you want to put out there and you just don't care. And that inspires me. You're cut from a different cloth. Man, those words just hit me. I'm going to be real with you. Anybody that's on social media, we put stuff out there and yes, it's for us. Yes, it's for for us to come on here and just talk or to you know try to elevate ourselves. But we also look at metrics. We also look at you know if someone liked the video or if it's it's just dead in the water. And I hate to think like that, but sometimes it just comes in that, that little doubt just comes in your head and um it, it plays with you, it messes with you. And when he sent me these words, it reminded me, it humbled me. It reminded me, I don't need a big audience. If I could reach one person, two people, whatever, um, then this did its job. Like I've told you guys many times, this is like therapy for me. I, I'm, I'm actually loving it. I don't like having to do the retakes when I mess up, but I'm liking it, you know, I'll come out here now and I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, so when he sent me that message, it, it just meant a lot. And then he went on to saying that um, he wishes that he can just step out and share his music. And then I'm like, oh, really? That's, you know, I've always known him for being an outgoing person. But then he shared with me that he doesn't share his music in because he has that fear of what people would say, what people would think. You know, the, the negativity comes in. And that, that we all have those. I have those. I, I, I still have those on a daily basis. Even though it may not seem like it, I just put out so much stuff out there. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it plays with me too. 
You know, you got those one people that look at something, and the second you put it out, they're just like, boom, dislike. I don't know why they do that. I mean, if you see something, just move on. That's what I do. But you got those people with that kind of maturity level that just, blah, blah, blah. They try to tear you down while you're building yourself up. Anyway, so back on track. So he sends me a couple of his music that he's done, you know, and apparently he's got like a whole lineup of music that he hasn't even released yet. Um, his label or his music company is called uh, Status One Music. His name, I asked him if I could share his name. His name is Joshua Rendon. Um, so he drops these on me. I'm like, dude, and he's in the background. He's singing the vocals on, on this song. I'm like, that boy don't need to be in the back. He needs to be in the front. He's that talented. And then to hit me more, he sends me his daughter. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. That much talent in a family. And then his son plays baseball in, in the major leagues. Come on, dude. I, I'm just blown. Blown. Her voice was amazing. His voice was amazing. That's what fear does to people. When we think of the word fear, I mean, we think of horror movies. We think of scary stuff. We think of skydiving and your parachute not opening and slamming into the ground. Or we think, you know, as you're in the middle of the ocean, you're like, oh, I hope an old shark just comes up and just takes my leg off or like bobbing with no bottom of my body. <laughs> but that's reality. Fear is... It's a destroyer of dreams. It'll hold you back. And I sent him a message. I'm like, you know what? What irks me about people that are as talented as you and your daughter is that you're not sharing it. You're not stepping out into the light. Um, someone that has so much talent that it just comes out of them. But that fear... It's just so debilitating, you know, it just knocks you down. It keeps you in the dark, it keeps you in the background instead of stepping into the light and taking on um, a new challenge. So I challenged him. I said, hey, you know what? Let's work together. You're going to come out and you're going to start singing. You're going to drop some new stuff. And, uh, and I challenge you to just get out there and just put it. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Don't worry about if, if someone tells you, hey, you know what? You can't put that because it's got to be this. It's got to be that. Just get out there and do it. You got to curb that fear. You got to step over that. I'm trying to do that daily. Um, this stuff is not easy. Like I said, people come on here, uh, even close friends or whatever the case is, they all have their opinions. But their opinions don't matter if they're not stepping in the light with you. If they're not with you on that, why does it matter what anybody thinks? So on top of that, I'm, I started feeling better. I'm like, hey, you know what? I, I, I reached somebody today. One of my videos inspired somebody that, that usually inspires me. Um, thank you, Josh. I, I appreciate that. That meant a lot to me. Your words and everything, brother. I can't wait to work with you uh, on, on future projects. And like I said, I'll post your stuff in the, uh, the comments below and I'll try to put it on the screen here. Um, so I started feeling a lot better. I'm like, hey, you know what? This is what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about fear and how to curb that fear. And then boom, I got another message from somebody else. If you follow me on other social media accounts, I'll post anything. I don't care what it is, because that's how I am. I'll post it. If, if I see something on, that I like, I'm just gonna put it. I don't, I don't care what anybody thinks. Um, so I'll post all the stuff like the foods that, that came in this week. You know, I just posted that stuff up and the challenges that I was facing trying to be on this diet, uh, I'm sorry, on this diet. Um, so today someone brought in crumble cookies. I'll put the picture right here so you see this. So I posted that. So a, a friend of mine that I've known for 20 years, he's been battling um, diabetes. Uh, you know, he's gone down a couple of times and there was some times that 
I'll be honest with you. If, if you're watching Rafael, I was worried about you, brother. I didn't know if you would pull through on some of that stuff, but I didn't have the words for you. You know, uh, we would talk and it just seemed like there was just always a battle in regards to um, food and, and maintaining a healthy diet. So he reaches out to me and he tells me, you know, that he just went to the doctor too. And um, those pigs and me trying to change my eating habits is he's going to change his diet tomorrow. I'm like, dude, come on, man. I just had a good message and now you, you hit me with this other one too. But that's how it goes. When you start downing yourself and you start having these fears, people start reaching out to you to remind you that you're doing something. Even if it's small and minute, it's something. 